Cause this is thriller. Holy shit, I'm weird. Fully retarded. If they ain't got it, I'ma mask up and take it. 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 What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks and today we have a very special unboxing. No, it is not Slipknot related, I'm sorry. 1000% excited for this. This took a couple people to make happen and I'm definitely stoked to get down to it. First off, I want to give a big thank you to Douglas Little. As some of you guys may remember, he went to Colorado a while back and he ended up scoring a lot of cool distortions pieces. A few of them being some vintage Herbie casts and he got me one of those, absolutely free of charge. <laughs> Send it my way and then I got to send it of an artist of my choice and I chose a Mr. Peter Hudgens over at Dark Hand Designs. Super, super good dude, super good artist and I knew that he would kill this and uh, he definitely did. So I had him finish out the Herbie and that's what we have in the box. Finally got it back and I am definitely excited to take a look at it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Look at the flick of their wrist. Their wrist. All right, so the version that I went after is actually Buckethead's original Herbie just at a later time. As you guys know, I already have a vintage copy that looks like his when his was pretty new, but over years of being used at literally hundreds of different shows and probably just shoved into the van that he uses, this thing started to look pretty gross. Me and Douglas and the mask hunter all refer to this as like the rotten vegetable version because it's just disgusting looking. Lost a lot of the original paint that was on it and got this really flat, gross, like green rotting look and uh, it's, it's really nasty but I actually really dig it so that's the version that I wanted. And the only other Herbie that's uh, Distortions Unlimited Zombie head that he uses is a new gen anyway so I'll probably wait to pick up a new gen and have it redone into that version. We call that one the Verity version but uh, yeah Bucket's original Herbie was obviously a vintage so when I got this vintage cast I knew that I had to do the second look of the original vintage Herbie that Buckethead uses. But yeah this one here was used a lot. I've got some clips I'm going to be throwing up on the screen right now just to kind of show it off. And once I pull this thing out of here, I am going to have to make some slight changes. I'm going to have to obviously tuck the tongue in because when this comes out, you're going to see that the tongue is still sticking out. How Distortions originally sends them. And I'm probably going to have to dye the hair a little bit and just grunge it up and make it look a little bit gross. Neither of those I requested from Peter, so uh, we're going to go ahead and show off what he's got for me here. So we're going to go ahead and dig on in and uh, pull this guy out here to see what we've got. There he is. His hair's all matted down for being in the box, so we'll just have to pull that hair out and uh, probably grunge it up a little bit, but the fucking paint job is absolutely flawless. Definitely stoked about that. There's actually a lot of tones going on in that for such a flat paint job, and uh, obviously we'll do some comparing here later. But yeah, 1997 Distortions Unlimited Beheaded Illusions Zombie Prop. One of my favorite parts of the Buckethead lore, Herbie is just the fucking man. And there's something special about Herbies. I think that anybody that owns one will tell you that. Not to be confused with Herbies, although those are special as well. So huge shout out to Douglas once again. Thank you very much for hooking me up with this guy. And a massive shout out to Peter Hudgens for painting this thing up. I am going to drop both of their information down below. Make sure to go check them out on Instagram. And Douglas also has a YouTube, so I'll throw that down below. But I'm sure that you guys are all subscribed to him already. Right now, I'm just going to style this guy out. I'm going to go ahead and tuck his tongue, uh, make sure that the hair looks good. And then I'll give you guys some nice close-up shots of him.
Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye.